Well, how do there, Jans? I would say this is a cup of tea with Captain Steve video, but I, I finished my tea. I've done a few takes of this video, people. <laughs> it's, it, it hasn't really gone to plan. Let's just put it that way. All right. Anyway, so what is this video about? Well, it's it's No Man's Sky. It's No Man's Sky. And it's it's to be it's, it's about things that haven't made it into the game. So I've actually done a poll over on my actual Twitter, on my um, community tab. It still isn't going well. Anyway, let's jump on over to my reaction cam and I'll show you what I mean, people. Chicka boom! And there I am, over on Tinterwebs. Oh, actually, let's zoom myself in a little bit better than that, people. Chicka pow! We'll try again. There we go. <laughs> Still not going to plan, is it? Right, well, let's scroll on down. So here we go. Uh, right, so No Man's Sky in the patch notes has listed things that never actually worked that way in game. What one of the below annoyed you the most? Or have I missed one? Leave it in the comments. May do a video on this. So 32 player lobbies for next gen. 31%. Companions will seek and destroy hazardous flora. 44%. Tech can be packaged and shared with friends. 25%. Now I have actually thought of another one. And that one is... Terrain will no longer regenerate and fill up bases that have been built underground or in rock faces. Yeah, that's been in the patch notes, I think twice now. And still it's a thing. It's still a thing, people in the view of us. Anyway, let's hit on up the comments and let's see if I have missed any. I haven't read all of these, I don't think, or maybe I have. For me, the second one, multiplayer will always be broken until Hello Games does something about their servers. Making creative survival and normal into one pool didn't fix the multiplayer. Making 32 player lobbies would probably make it worse. They seriously need to look at how they handle in-game networking code. And there's a reply there. So uh, we can only multiplayer with the same level of gameplay. Now, you should be able to do cross-play and all that sort of stuff. And it doesn't really matter. Well, actually, it does actually matter a lot. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, sometimes you can't invite somebody to game if you're in normal mode and they're in another mode. Yeah, it can be quite taxing that. How about gaming experiences that don't crash every five minutes, says Mash Tucker. Well, um, I'm, I've got another poll on here. We might cover that one off. After I've done the tabs that I've got open up here, we'll go, we'll go back and I'll have a look at the other poll because I've got one out on that as well. Okay, I already knew about the tech one, says Serena. Okay, well, um, I'll show you where they all are anyway. Dan Wheeler, they can't make capes appear in multiplayer. Doesn't give much hope for other multiplayer fixes, says Dan Wheeler. Good point. Okay, right. So anyway, let's jump on over. So this one here is Companions. And you can see here in patch, patch notes 3.21 of February 19, 2021. Aggressive Companions would now correctly attack hazardous plants. Okay, um... They still don't do that. They didn't do that right after this patch. So I have no idea what's gone on there. And also this whole thing of number create, uh, creature behaviours have re rebalanced to m better match personality traits. I don't see that either. All of my pets have always acted the same way from being untrained to being trained. And I've fully maxed them. And I've done videos on them. They're freaking hilarious. I put one up here of my um, hippo pet, if I can find it, just being its normal everyday self and trolling me like, <laughs> it is a funny video. Give it a watch if you want to laugh because it's, it's kind of funny. Righto, okay, anyhow, hitting up in the next tab here. So this is the next generations, the next generations patch. And it, it's the actual main thing, you know? And one of the things that it boasted when you scroll on down here, 32 player multiplayer, 32 player multiplayer. For the first time, console players on next generation hardware can traverse the universe in sessions of up to 32 players. Explore, build, fight, survive alongside more travellers than ever before. Not a thing on PlayStation 5, never has been. I don't know about the Xbox, um, but I know on PC that they could have up to 32 player instances. I mean, Zoo Games, uh, every Friday, him alongside, you know... Um, uh, Rice's Starship Emporium, Miyogi, and they used to all get together, and 32 player lobbies were definitely a thing for PC at one stage. Now they're lucky if they can hit 20. I mean, most weeks they get about 12 and then it starts to fudge up. But yeah, 32 player lobbies has never been a thing on PlayStation 5. I used to do the pet egg giveaways, you can go back and watch those, and the most people we ever had in a singular instance was 12. 12 was the maximum, and it's never been any greater than that. Even if you look at the Anvil meetup just after this came up, 
this this update dropped. I tried it. I couldn't get 32 players in on PlayStation 5. Heck, no, I couldn't. No, I freaking couldn't. Right, uh, but then again, I don't think <laughs> I don't think 32 people had PlayStation 5s back then because they were really hard to get hold of. Just making a bit of a joke there. Of course, I could. Anyways, um, what else have we got? So we've got another tab here. Waypoint update. Okay, so this is the technology repackaging stuff. Install technologies may now be dis dismembered into convenient transferable packages. Disassembled. <laughs> Disassembled. Johnny Five. Stash them away in your inventory to install in a freshly acquired Starship or multi-tool. But it's this bit. All oh, that bit's true. All oh, that this bit here isn't. Or trade with friends or collect your dream loadout. You cannot trade them with friends. You really can't. And uh, we tried it with the incinerator modules. We couldn't give the incinerator module to other people. It just crashed the game. But we also tried it with normal packages, just like stuff like this, just to see if it would work with other stuff. It just won't transfer over. You don't see them on the teleport list. You can't give them to friends. I don't know whether Hello Games intended to at one point and then recanted on it for whatever reason. But no, you cannot trade them with friends, which is a real shame that because it would have been nice to have got a load of incinerators and give them away on multiplayer to people once multiplayer is fixed and once we can have 32 player lobbies <laughs> but no so there are still things inside of no man's sky that kind of haven't been delivered into the universe despite them being inside of the actual patch notes people so even though we're still looking at things from the old e3 world like those lovely majestic diplos and trees that all have wavy david bends and all look different from one another or the ability to pick sides in freighter battles even even if we're looking back at recent updates, we're, we're seeing things inside of the patch notes that don't make it inside of iteration in all cases. And then there's no word about them ever reappearing or reoccurring or coming back or saying, sorry, actually, no, we had to take those out. It, it wouldn't take much in the next set of patch notes to come out and say, uh, yeah, we've had to remove the trading with friends because it caused this problem. It caused X, Y, Z problem. You know, it'd be nice if they just made a little bit of clarity around it. It's like what's going on with multiplayer right now. It'd be nice to have something from Hello Games to say, right, OK, we know multiplayer isn't up to par right now. And you're having problems running the weekend missions, having problems doing in-game events. We are working to fix this. Um, yeah, just bear with us. Even if it was something just like that, just so we know it's on their radar or things that they're working on, that'd be nice. But um, sadly, we don't got that. We don't got that, people in the view of us. Heck no, we doesn't. Right, oh, so yeah, oddities, oddities. But I would like it if our pets would take out hazardous flora. I might be more inclined to use my pet that little bit more often if that was the case. But um, no, the pets don't really do overly too much right now, peeps. They really don't. Anyhow, what else have I got for you? Oh, yeah, I did say that I'd bring up that poll, didn't I? So let's go back. Let's go back a level. And I've got a secondary poll. So this poll here is mainly because I've been having so many comments from Nintendo Switch players to tell me that they can't play the game anymore. I've had people saying it's really bad that Hello Games has put it out on Switch. But then they've left it in such a state that it crashes all the time. Okay, so 56% of the people that have voted, there's 36 votes here, people, so I haven't left it running a long time. It's only been going three hours. But if you're on Nintendo Switch and you're watching this, please come and chime in. Let us know what's going on. I might do a follow-up video on this. What I'm doing is I'm going to wait until Hello Games does another update because I, I strongly feel that the next update is going to be for Mac OS. And maybe some of the actual enhancements that they're putting in for Mac OS to improve optimization optimization i'm hoping come over to nintendo switch and i'm hoping fix the problems with switch is kind of where i'm going with this so although that i'm doing the poll now i might do a follow-up poll to say has the latest update helped nintendo switch players are you still experiencing crashes so there might be the two polls by then and um, i'm hoping then if if there has been no improvement maybe feeding this back over to Hello Games or trying to find maybe some way of contacting Nintendo just to put it out there that there are big problems with the Nintendo Switch version. But here we go. The game crashes so often I can't play at all. 56%. That's quite worrying. You know, when um, Cyberpunk was causing a load of crashes, it got pulled from the PlayStation 4 store and that sort of kicked them in the backside to get it working better for previous gen. And I'm wondering if something similar needs to happen with the Switch version of No Man's Sky. 
Okay, but I'm also seeing game crashes often, but I can still play it. 8%, not too bad. Crashes happen every hour or so, so it's okay, 6%. But then these two, down at the bottom, when you combine them together, they're still not as high as the 56%, but you know, people are saying it's fine, they can still play it, they've hardly had any crashes, and it's running fine for them. I don't know whether there's anything you can do on the Switch to maybe rebuild your database, or to polish it up a bit, to try and get a little bit more juice out of it. But anyway, let's go into the actual comments, because I have pinned one here by Mike UK, who says, Crashes increase on Switch at the moment if your fry freighter is in the same system. This was a problem on PlayStation 4. I moved to the PlayStation 5, but when I was on the PlayStation 4, this was definitely a problem. If I called my freighter into a system, sometimes the game would crash. Or sometimes if I was spawning into a system where I'd left my freighter, the game would crash. And that's not good if you haven't got multiple save points or if you can't back your save up. I don't know whether you can or can't on the Nintendo Switch not having one. So I don't know what the workarounds are for that. I mean, some people are saying that their game crashes even if they're standing still after boot up. So here we go. Look, I'll, scratch, I'll scroll on down. There's somebody here talking about PlayStation 4, which isn't the Switch. But there we go. Yes, I find the SBS is just as bad on PlayStation 4. Personally, I love this game, but the frame drops and frequent crashes are killing the immersion for the game. So maybe I need to do another poll that isn't just limited to Switch, but to previous gen, because it does seem to be that there's some issues. I've already brought this up to the Zendesk. Nice one, High Powered Beaver. Love your freaking name, mate. Freaking awesome name. Moon Shepherd. I love that name as well. I do. It's pretty cool. And a lot of people have got great names, haven't they? Okay, so here we go. 40 seconds after startup, it crashes. I can stand completely still, touch no buttons, no action at all, and it would still crash. And uh, Mike UK said, is your freighter in the system? And they replied and put, no, the freighter is completely useless. I never use it. Try running frigate missions. It crashes. Try building on it. It crashes. I'm literally in an empty system on a barren moon. <laughs> what in heck? Oh, you poor guy. I mean, that's, that's just not great. That really isn't good. Um, all I can say is, do you get any error messages? Is there any sort of error code? Have you tried looking up that error code on Google? Is it something that other games have? Is it just a No Man's Sky thing? I don't know. But um, report it to the Zendesk. If you can do video clips of it, maybe upload it to YouTube if you've got the ability to, and show it off. In fact, if you do make a video of your Nintendo Switch freezing, hanging, crashing, and throwing up an error message, and you do put a video out there, nvr for live if you put that out there, send me the link, DM me the link or something over on Twitter, uh, if you've got Twitter or any of my social media details, you can find them in my video description. And um, I'd happily pick that video up, put it in one of my own videos, give it a mention and show exactly what's happening on Switch. It would be nice to have some actual evidence. In fact, that doesn't just go for um, NVR for life. If you can do that, if you've got the ability to do that, you can actually uh, show the crashes on Nintendo Switch happening real time. Fire it over to me. I'll put together a compilation of them. Okay, so here we go. Now, No Man's Sky on Switch seems like a cool idea, but it seems illogical to pay for the game on Switch that's gutted of features that exist on other platforms. I think you're talking about multiplayer there and also the um, settlements. It would only seem worth it to me if it had the features across the board. Obviously, there could be hardware limitations, etc. In my honest opinion, that would make, make it not worth playing the money for. Okay, not full price. I kind of agree with you. I kind of feel that it should have been slightly discounted on Switch, you know, like half price or whatever, like 20 quids or something. The only features mission on Switch are the multiplayer and settlements, both which are best ignored, <laughs> says Chowlin. Which, yeah, he kind of got a point, but I, th I think they didn't really get the ability to run the last expedition either, did they? And they can't put capes on either, so they can't have the capes. And some of the things inside the Quicksilver store, the capes, are missing. And we've got here Commander um, Jester Jugular saying, I stopped playing once I realised I didn't get the expeditions, which is why I wanted it on Switch. There's a, a couple of replies here. You do get expeditions on Switch, though the weekend missions at the Anomaly. And the weekend missions at the Anomaly. It came up a few updates back. Oh, OK, Corleo. I, don't, I wasn't 100% sure, but I'm glad that you've clarified that there. Let's just hit these. Yeah. Man, I lost me either on the Switch since it runs best on my Series X. Plus, I'm too busy with the Fallout 76 school board and all systems. All right, fine. Well, I don't really know what's going on there. But it looks like you can run expeditions when they are out, um, according to my UK. Sorry, I don't have a Switch, so it's very hard for me to chime in. It's just that I've had quite a fair few comments when it comes to Switch 
players. I see if I can bring them up. I see if I can filter them, filter them out and show you the amount of comments I've had on Switch. Okay, peeps. Well, I'm back on, and uh, yeah, I've managed to filter it. Now, a lot of these were for the poll that I just did, anyway. You know, so there you go. But some of these, uh, that that one there is like the Ben and Jerry's one. Um, but it's, yeah, it says here, "Hello, games with the Switch update." But yeah, anyway, scrolling down on here, you've got I can't even play this game anymore with such crashy, bug-riddled -ridden, mess. And I put is that on Switch? Had a few people saying that. Yeah, it's on Switch. It was good for a while, but not anymore. Yeah, so there we go. And uh, you know, people sort of like saying yeah that sucks new platform updates are good but i hope they fix the worst and more recent platform issues first a bunch of us over on switch have been stuck with our save files in completely unplayable state for almost a month now ever since the interceptor update dropped by completely unplayable i'm talking about crash loops that occur within seconds of loading the game constantly considering how recently hello games released the switch port it's pretty bad to leave us in such an unplayable state soon after launch says phoenix and phoenix hasn't chimed in on the old um, comments on the other one but yeah it's it's not that great you know so i just hit a little like there uh what else we got but yeah you get the idea there's another one there oh that's actually saying that they can now get quicksilver missions but uh, Every day, I'm seeing at least one comment, anyway, uh, that people are getting problems with Switch. And, uh, yeah, so some people just, yeah. yeah, yeah anyway, so that's, that's pretty much that. Um, I could carry on scrolling down and digging through, but I think you get the rough idea of what I'm seeing. But, yeah, it seems to be a bit of a problem at the moment with Nintendo Switch. So there you go, people. I'll jump back on over. So yeah, there we go, and that's pretty much everything that I've got for you today, people in the of the view of us. Uh, I think the music's a little bit loud there, isn't it? I might have to watch this back, I might have to re-record it if it's too loud at the start. Punching hack, I didn't notice that earlier. Anyways, like I said, I've already done a few retakes of this video, so I'm probably not going to do another one, to be fair. But if I do have to, then I have to. <laughs> i go watch it back now. Alright, people, until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.